Hi, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me on my channel at Lisa Loves Crafting. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, I would invite you to consider doing so. In today's video, we're going to visit a Dollar Tree as well as a Hobby Lobby in Hagerstown, Maryland. After we take a look around the Dollar Tree and uh, also do the short tour of the Hobby Lobby, we'll explore making some crafts using some of the items that we purchase. It's a nice cheerful welcome to see the, uh, all the faux flowers out front. Well, here we are at a large Dollar Tree in Hagerstown, Maryland. The first thing I'm seeing is a lot of Valentine items, gift boxes, and decor. We'll take a closer look at everything. These um, cookie cutters are really nice. I'm going to use my air dry clay and make some faux cookies with those. I see some cute tinsel bears. I like to uh, remove the tinsel off of these and replace it with a nice plush yarn. I have a video that uh, gives the tutorial on how to do that. It's very simple and it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in making one of those, uh, you could easily check out that video. I'll put a link. Here's a lot of nice Valentine decor. Everything here is $1.25. It's not a plus store, but it is rather large. They have a lot of pretty Valentine bags, flowers, the pretty scarves again that we've seen. Here's some nice wall plaques that would be good for decorating and some reusable bags and more decor. Here is the St. Patrick's Day decor. They even have some fun socks. He's really cute. Some flowers if you want to make some sort of a St. Patrick's Day centerpiece. They have the little green glittered hearts. And even LED string lights and ribbon. Here's some more of the Easter springtime decor. There's some nice eggs. I really like these with the yarn wrapped colors in green, lavender, light blue. Here's some small foam eggs on little strings. That'd be cute for a small Easter egg tree. And some bunny picks. Down here, I see they have the Easter trees. So we'll have to pick up a couple of those and maybe make a swag and maybe an extra one for a little Easter tree. Here's some of the larger eggs. These eggs, as I've seen in another Dollar Tree, are real nice. They're very nice quality. I'm always impressed with their Heartline. It's a Hallmark company, um, the two for a dollar cards. It's They have beautiful cards, nice quality, and at such a, a much more affordable price than some of the card stores where to get a nice card, you have to spend, you know, four, five, six, seven dollars. Here, the most you spend is a dollar a card. And I really don't think the, the quality is compromised. It, beautiful selection. These floating shelves are another nice find. They could be used in a variety of ways and they're easy to install. The children's toy section is really well stocked and I see so many fun gifts that would be fun to make up a little gift basket for Valentine's Day or maybe Easter basket stuffers. Um, you can get so much for the money here. They have a wide variety of toys and little cars. And let's see what this is. Glow in the dark poster set. That's neat, Disney princess. They have a lot of springtime balls and little mini um, spiral art sets, color form sets with Monopoly. They have some of the Barbie products. And over here are the doll houses. These are great for crafting. 
I've used these to make a uh, Christmas gingerbread house as well as a Valentine's inspired gingerbread house. And I offer a grateful shout out to Bargain Bethany for first showing us how to make those on her own YouTube channel. Here in the spring fling section, they have a lot of pretty florals. Um, a lot of them have a beautiful springtime color palette, as well as flowers for some of the upcoming um, holidays in March with St. Patrick's Day colors. And also, of course, in other parts of the store, they have the Valentine themed floral bouquets. I like some of these um, gardening items as well. This is a really cute little find. This is a um, flower pot hanger. I think he's so fun. There's the galvanized metal gar uh, garden sign. Some little stakes for the yard. Here's some um, very nice planters in a woven plastic look. Oh, they have the, this is nice. They have these kneelers. Um, just to give you a little comfort if you're working in your garden. And gardening tools. These planters are really nice. They're good size and you can see they come in the natural clay color, the green and the gray. And I think those are very nicely designed. They also have hanging baskets and other um, rectangular planters thermometers and the galvanized buckets, which um, are really fun, not only for live plants, but also for uh, floral arrangements. For those who enjoy the fairy gardens, they have a nice uh, selection here. Some of these are really cute and could be combined with other kinds of displays. They're starting to stock some of the Easter signs. And these are the first, um, this is the first time I've seen these. They're really cute. They're also well stocked with the Valentine candy. And as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I'm really impressed with this chocolate. Um, it's, it's quite good. And the little hearts are cheerful. In the party supply section, they have some very pretty Valentine's Day gift wrap, as well as some pretty uh, cheerful uh, floral paper plates. A lot of um, banners for babies, shower, shower gifts, garlands. Oh, this is cute. Little baby shower favors here. Lots of birthday candles. Again, I think really well priced with the numerals and an assortment of balloons in all colors. Here in the last minute gift section, I found this pretty uh, sign. It says home and it has a little wreath on it. I think I'll pick one of those up, see if maybe we can even embellish it. This is nice with the little beaded wooden chain and the clothespin holding a favorite picture. Also in the frame section, I'm buying four of these five by sevens. My plan is to make a photo display. It's gonna actually be a luminaria that'll hold four photos and be illuminated from within. I'll have the directions for making that in an upcoming video in the next week. This is cute to hang on the doorknob of a child's room. Some of the glassware is very pretty. I see these uh, votive holders. This is the first time I had seen these. They're very pretty in the pastel colors, lavender, pink, clear, light blue. Here's a slightly different design. <coughs> these pretty little birds are very sweet. This one in the blue and silver would be so pretty on a wreath or a springtime floral centerpiece. Here's another one, I like this combination in the gold and pink. Here's one kind of an orange color and there's another color combination here. That's really pretty. 
and I see another one back there. That's another one of the blue ones. These pearls are great. I'm in the floral section and they have some nice embellishments. Um, these are useful in projects. I recently used them to adorn the base of a cross that I had transformed from um, just a plain wooden cross from Dollar Tree to one that was covered in yarn. These are nice flowers. Again, these clips could be added on to a wreath or centerpiece. Here again for children, there's some fun activity books, a lot of branded products, including SpongeBob, Hello Kitty, some of the uh, Strawberry Shortcake, Disney, and some color forms. I've always liked color forms as a kid. I thought they were so much fun to play with. Children like those. Here's Toy Story, and um, this is a more advanced coloring, but that's neat, the Ocean Treasures. Yeah, I think they have some very nice ideas here for small gifts for children, for um, Valentine's Day or for a road trip. These would be fun amusements. Here's one that um, is Crayola, and let's see what that is. Oh, that's um, Fun Felt. That's neat. In the pet section, I found these nice plastic mats. They have a little paw print design, and they'd be real nice to put your water bowls and food bowls on top to keep the floor tidy. A friendly customer who heard me making this video pointed these out to me. They're laser cut hearts, and you get eight in a package. Um, she was saying they would be really nice for Christmas time as tree ornaments. And imagine two package ornaments. Uh, oh, yeah, like wouldn't that be neat? Stuff, yeah. 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 So everybody in the store is getting into this video. Dollar Tree is just kind of a perpetual treasure hunt. It is. This is a very sweet find. Oh, these are little flower pots with embellished um, kind of embossed designs. And then these are little watering cans. And I'm just thinking they include little paints and a mini brush. And wouldn't that be sweet for a small child to paint for their mom or grandma or favorite teacher or friend? They also have other little craft projects that would be nice for a child. They have these windmill uh, wind chimes as well as the little um, spinning pinwheel wooden crafts. This is a very colorful and festive uh, collection of eggs. I think about the fun of egg hunts for children and even uh, children at heart. Egg hunts are always a lot of fun. They have quite a variety of them. I found some of the Easter trees. I plan to pick some of these up uh, to make some Easter swags. Maybe even a Valentine swag if I dry brush some pink on the branches. And uh, an Easter tree would be fun too, a small tabletop size. They have little um, foam eggs, which would be cute hanging on it. In the um, markers and pens and colored pencils uh, section, <laughs> there is a very cute little folio. It has an alpaca design. And inside, if you open it several ways, um, there's cute little uh, memo sticky pads. And then on this side, I'll put it down so I can open it. On this side, there's other little opportunities for note taking. And again, wouldn't this be cute? in an Easter basket or in a Valentine gift basket or just as a little um, thinking of you kind of gift. Here I am at a Hobby Lobby. I thought I'd take a look and see what other craft supplies I might find. This is the yarn by Yarnbee that I often use in my tinsel to um, yarn transformations. It's not on sale today though, and um, you can definitely get a better price on it when it is. And speaking of yarn, I have never seen such an abundant selection of yarn as they offer. This is the brand I like, which is made by uh, Yarnbee. Here's some more of the color options. A lot of different textures. It really does uh, beautifully transform some of the tinsel decorations that the Dollar Tree sells. 
by um, taking the tinsel off and replacing it with a nice plush or textured yarn. You can really elevate the look of these decorative items. I found these mirrors here. I need it for the upcoming project I'm going to be making and doing a video next week on how to make a luminaria box with four photos. I was able to get the frames at Dollar Tree, but I'm getting the mirror for the base here at Hobby Lobby. These are nice, inspirational messages. So good to, to remember. When I came to this aisle, it occurred to me how we could make these ourselves by buying frames, even from thrift stores and spray painting the, the uh, borders and then using chalk paint, how we could make a center area that would be a blackboard style. So I'm kind of regarding these as an inspiration for crafting opportunities. And speaking of inspiration, I love this. I saw it in a restaurant painted over a fireplace. It says, fear knocked at the door. Faith answered, no one was there. I love that and I thought I'd share it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please uh, do consider subscribing to my channel at Lisa Loves Crafting. I look forward to preparing another video in which I will have some of the craft projects that I make using some of the ideas, inspiration, and projects, uh, products that we got today. Take care. God bless.